Hi, it's Chef Robin. I have another cooking video I want to do for you. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, doing another one with you. Want to thank everybody that's been really nice uh, in sending pictures of some of the things that I have taught in past uh, cooking videos and letting me see how beautiful they are. Um, I really appreciate that. And if you have, uh, if you happen to do this one or some of the past ones and you want to send me pictures, I would love to see them. So today we are going to do Eggs Benedict. Uh, so uh, I'm picking this one because uh, the ingredients are things that probably everybody has. So that's uh, kind of my goal as we're going through this uh, different time in life. So um, let's get started. Okay, so the first part of our eggs benedict is we're going to poach our eggs. So you want your water to be at a, a simmer. Um, when you're trying to figure out if your water is at a simmer, you're gonna notice that your pan is filled with little bubbles. That means you're there. So you can see that we are at that point of a simmer right before a boil. We are gonna add some vinegar that helps coagulate the eggs for any time you're poaching eggs. I'm using white vinegar, um, whatever you have, if you use white wine vinegar or anything that you have in your pantry right now. I'm gonna kind of stir that through um, and then we're going to crack our eggs. And then I'm actually going to try to move this water around as we are laying those eggs in there. It kind of helps them pull together a little bit uh, better if you do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and crack some eggs. You want to crack them into bowls so that you can just pour them into this nice simmering water. Um, so we're going to do that first. We're going to do, I'm going to do three eggs. One. Okay, and so you also want to do that so that you can make sure that you don't have any shells in your eggs. So, uh, and I don't. Okay, so the next step is getting these eggs into our nice simmering water that has that vinegar in it. And like I had mentioned, um, I like to move the water a little bit. Um, that kind of helps that egg pull together also. If you're practicing this at home, making poached eggs for Eggs Benedict, or even like a nice uh, salad lyonnaise, a nice French uh, dish that has a poached egg on top, uh, you wanna make sure uh, that your eggs are a little bit newer. The older your eggs are, the more they wanna kinda spider out. Okay, so how you're going to put your eggs in is with this water moving, you wanna kind of slowly let that fall through. And then as you kind of swirl around, it will like, it will come back together. Got one. Two. Woo. Keep them apart. And three. This takes about three to five minutes for the eggs to cook. So you kind of have to hang in there until they are nice and cooked. All right, so it's been about three minutes and they look perfect. You'll know when your poached eggs are ready, you'll actually see that the white sets all the way around the egg. So we want to get them out onto a paper towel so we can pull any water off of them that we have. So we're just gonna move them on out and lay them onto our paper towel. A little chef secret, um, as you're doing this, uh, when you are ready to serve this, all you have to do is actually add it back into your warm water to reheat that egg so that um, your guests don't get an egg that isn't quite uh, warm. There you go poached eggs. All right, so I'm gonna let that hang out there for a minute. 
and we're gonna start our hollandaise sauce and also uh, warm up one of the ingredients that we're gonna put in the Eggs Benedict. All right, so we are gonna do Eggs Benedict three different ways. I'm gonna do one of them with roasted asparagus, which I already have done and have roasted. I'm gonna do one with a little bit of avocado and I'm going to do one with some prosciutto. I picked prosciutto because I don't have Canadian bacon right now, um, but I do have prosciutto, and prosciutto is an Italian ham cured the same way that we cure our ham. Uh, so I'm gonna use that. I have a cast iron pan that's nice and hot, and I'm actually just gonna warm it in the pan while I make my nice hollandaise sauce. I'm just gonna let it kind of hang in there because I have this heated up and let it just kind of warm while we do the hollandaise sauce. All right, so uh, a few hints. I told you how to warm your egg up again after you poach it, before you serve it. I wanna tell you also if you happen to do your hollandaise sauce ahead of time, a nice way to keep it nice and warm until your guests are ready for it is if you have any sort of insulated uh, cup or a water bottle, you can put your hollandaise sauce in that and then it will hold that heat in and then you can just drizzle on at the very end. All right, let's get started with the hollandaise sauce. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add two egg yolks into our blender. And this is all gonna be on a low speed. Just want the yolk. All right, one more. We're gonna blend that with three fourths of a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a pinch of cayenne just to give it a little heat. Uh, we're also gonna add some lemon juice to that. So we're gonna do one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Um, and if you watch some of my past videos, you know that a half of a lemon usually is about a tablespoon. So I'm gonna juice uh, this whole lemon and then put about one and a half tablespoons in. And remembering if you have this kind of a juicer, you're gonna do it the opposite way that it looks like you should. You're gonna turn it so that your rounded side is up. And then I'm actually gonna press this back into this bowl. So we're gonna measure out about one and a half tablespoons. All right. One tablespoon and a half. I have about a half a tablespoon left, so um, there you go. We're gonna blend this for on low speed for about 15 seconds just to let that pull together. Then we've got some nice uh, warm melted butter, uh, six tablespoons of it, and we're gonna slowly drizzle that in so that emulsifies, it pulls together. That's the last part of the hollandaise sauce. So we're gonna mix this together first. And then with that on a low speed on your uh, mixer, you're going to want to start pouring in your uh, melted butter. So that's six tablespoons, about three fourths of a stick. So we want to slowly add this in so that it emulsifies And then you want it to go for about 30 seconds so that it becomes nice and thick. We're gonna let that blend for a bit. All right, so it's been 30 seconds and now we're gonna look at our beautiful hollandaise sauce. Um, 
I know if you watch some of my other videos, I've talked to you about that nape point, that point uh, that the spoon uh, is coated with the sauce. That's how you know your sauce is done. So you wanna make sure you dip in and look how beautifully that's coating. Otherwise, you wanna make sure it falls in a ribbon, which you can see it does. Those are the two things that you're looking for to make sure that your hollandaise sauce is done. So now we are going to plate it up. Um, so like I had mentioned, uh, we're gonna do three different uh, eggs benedict, one with avocado, one with some asparagus, one with some prosciutto. So I'm just gonna cut through my avocado because I want to lay some nice pretty slices onto my English muffin. Spoon out those uh, slices of avocado and I'm just gonna kind of lay that out. We'll end up uh, putting that on our toasted English muffin. There we go. All right, we have our roasted asparagus, we have our warmed prosciutto. So I'm just gonna take three pieces of English muffin and I'm gonna take my avocado first and lay three pieces of that. And I'm gonna lay four or five pieces of asparagus. And now I'm gonna take my prosciutto. I'm gonna lay that on top. All right, next the poached eggs. Okay, I'm gonna use my slotted spoon to lay those poached eggs on top. And remember how I talked about, you could put it back in that simmering water if you wanted to warm that up a little bit to make sure it's nice and warm for your guests right before you serve it. Best part, hollandaise sauce, my favorite. So we are going to pour that over and then we're gonna garnish. So nice and thick. Okay, now we need to garnish. So, I have chives in our garden right now, so that's what I'm going to use um, for garnish. So uh, again, you wanna hold your knife, gripping with three, pinching with two. When you cut, moving away from your body and the tip of the blade doesn't leave the cutting board. and a little bit of paprika. Oops, got avocado there. There we go. Eggs Benedict, three ways. As always, love you guys. Enjoy um, sharing my cooking with you. Hopefully you'll enjoy this. If you make it, please share it with me. Wishing uh, everybody a happy weekend. It's almost there and uh, I'll try to have some other videos coming up soon. Love you.